Hey, are we go? Yeah, my name is Remy Cadie. I'm at the Winter Clash right now, getting ready to watch uh, some crazy shit go down all over this park with my main motherfuckers over here. You know them. So yesterday we had the City Opera premiere, which was fucking off the hook. It's gonna be uh oh yeah like so everybody go to cityhopper.nu on Monday to check out the new City Hopper. Oh, somebody's already going down. Nice stuff. So, thank you. Oh yeah, this is my uh, ninth winter clash. So I come looking for the same thing I look for every winter clash, and I never find. But uh, yeah, some skating, trying to catch some skating. Actually, first time now that I'm not holding a camera in uh, five or four years. So I'm actually quite happy to. Uh, be in front of the camera instead of behind for once. Very good, very good. It is a good way, like can so. Okay, yeah. But what can you do to to make everyone more this event and for? Since it's the 10th Winter Clash, I think it's probably one with the best obstacles yet, ever. And of course we're in Holland again, which is the best place to hold the Winter Clash because you can invite everybody and they surely want to come to Amsterdam and then make the short trip to Eindhoven for the Winter Clash. And um, yeah, actually uh, I think there's not a park in the world that can host this many rollerbladers and to have it all go right. and. Uh, this year, Yo-Yo and the guys that built the park have outdone themselves. All the companies that sponsored the big obstacles, like Grindhouse, they're doing a tremendous job to put some money into it. And, uh, yeah, I'm really fucking stoked to, uh, to go and watch the finals, uh, or actually the, the, the pros, in a bit. I think it's probably going to be Niels again, Niels, Niels Janssons, yeah. In the, in the end, I think he's the guy that, uh, that has the most will to win coupled with the skill and determination a lot of these other guys when it comes down to it they don't have the same crazy shit as Nils you know when it when the moment is there he will pull something out of his hat which no one else has inside their hat so I'm quite sure that uh, Nils will be there until the end if he doesn't get hurt and uh, and if not Nils yeah if not Nils, then, well, I haven't seen Dave Lang skate a competition yet, but the way I've been see seeing him roll around, it looks quite impressive. But uh, as a matter of fact, I think there's probably somewhere up to 10 guys that could take it. For instance, I spoke to CJ yesterday, he's totally fit. You know, if he isn't too hungover, he's going to probably uh, be a hard guy to beat. And probably going to be skating a lot of the different stuff which no one else is skating right now, so I'm looking forward to that as well.